Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Mar Paper Mario and Fasten Your Door. Bleh, said, had sort of a tied tongue there. So, how's everyone doing today? I hope you all had a good uh, Easter. I never really got a got one. We're having ours uh, blah, blah, next weekend. Uh, mainly because my uh, my oldest sister wasn't here. I'm not sure if it was because of work or or she was on vacation or something. All I know is that she wasn't here. So, let's hear what's happened to Luigi. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here it goes. As soon as we hit Jazzafry's town, we were overcome by the glitz and the glamour. It's, it's a very lively place, bro. Tons of daisies live there, and they're always smiling. While looking for the piece of the compass, I met a hip daisy named Hazy. Hazy was a producer, and he was looking for actors on stage to go with him. I told him we couldn't, since we were looking for the compass part, you know? But Hazy... But Hazy said we should we could win the compass uh, compass part in an upcoming drama slam. He said the so-called drama llama plaque might in fact be one of the parts. What? Well, we just had to give it a try. So we rehearsed with the cast and hit the stage. Our mu our uh, musical was called The Mystery of the Fiery Hat of Social Awareness. Epic. The script was great, bro. I really got, but I really got hosed, bro. My role, my part, was grass! I was played by grass on the side of the road. Grass, bro, grass! Bo. I just sprawled out on the ground <laughs> and had to be silent. Everyone else but me had lines. I don't care if I was wearing green. Who, the, who cast someone based on that? It was awful! In the end, our musical was the talk of the town, and we won the drama slam. I got the compass part I was after, but that didn't even make me very happy. The huge party after <laughs> uh, just bummed me out so more, so I snuck out the back door. But wow, outside there were tons of fans. My fans. Fans of grass. They swarmed me. I just couldn't believe it. Imagine, cheering for grass. I was ecstatic, bro. After that, I added the piece of the Marvelous Compass, which pointed north. It pointed to the rapturous ruins in Grimble Forest. Then, the voice again. Oh, my cherished Princess Eclair, how you soothe me. I would be grass for you. I will find you. I will reach you. I will stand by your side and be your Luigi! Wow, sorry about that, bro. Um, so yeah, anyway, then I got back on my boat and came back to Rogueport, and here I am, another leg of my adventure completed. And, with that done, as you can see, there is a boat panel here, so we turn into a boat, and we sail past Cortez, because in the last episode, we beat Cortez. Well, that wasn't the last episode. We beat. Uh, bit -a -bit -a -bit -a um, Lord Crump. I keep wanting to call him Grotus. Now. Ah, uh, here. Uh, HP drain. Drop Mario's attack power by one, but regain one HP per attack. So that can be pretty helpful. Although, I never use those sort of attacks. And every time I go back there, I think there's a Shine Sprite, but there never is. So I don't know what that's all about. Alright, so, now that that's out of the way, we can now head over to the Thousand Year Door. And, I was just about to say I've only dropped 6 frames, but since then, I've dropped twice that. I have dropped 12, for those of you who are not good in math. Huh, what to talk about, what to talk about. Uh... Ooh, email! Go away, you! I do not want you. No, mailbox. Gomez was known for napping in the flower. Uh, those are so stupid. It's like, it is literally like you are in town. It It's as if you are actually Mario. Ah. Oh, what impeccable timing. Yes, this was destined. When I consulted my star charts, I saw a Portunia sign for you, Mario, if that's how you pronounce that. It went thusly, in the house of the dragon that flew through the air, beyond the reversible stair. Near the empty black chest that cursed you lies a clue that will, that will help your allies learn. This is one of the things that we're going to do after. After we're talking to Frankly and all that crap. So. Oh! I just figured out. I'm going to kill two birds with one stone. So, bonus. But you'll find that when we cross... The, we'll, you'll find that out when we cross... When we... We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. That's what I was trying to say. So, sorry for sounding like an idiot. Alright, so, we're gonna head down here, and fall down here, 
Pull down here. Oh, well, now that I think about it, I guess I could have gone broke that. Would that be any faster? Oh, yeah, now that we've beaten Chapter 5, there are now more powerful enemies down here. So, Magic Hoops and, uh, what are they called? Oh, man. Hello? Okay, good. Okay, apparently my capture card doesn't like this room too much. And as I was dropping frames, uh, my sound recorder all of a sudden stopped responding. It wasn't picking up my voice, and it literally said, sound recorder not responding. So once it stopped dropping my frames, oh, are you freaking kidding me? Why is it doing this now? It never did it before, did it? I really do apologize for this. This is this is gonna be desynced like crazy, and I don't know why it's doing. It. Whoa! Uh, something just popped up on my screen, and then it went away. So, wow! What the hell? Something's going on with my computer right now, and I can't see what is happening on my uh, on my uh, hello. I can't see what's happening on my computer because this weird black box is in the way. What is going on? Alright, so if you can actually see what's going on, which I'm sure you can. Oh my god, what the hell is going on with my computer? The next go the next crystal star is in Polish Heights. Wow, thank you, good god. Haven't, haven't I heard lots of rich people come from that place home? Okay. I'm fairly sure there is also a shrine to the star. It's called Polshi Sanctum. Fearsome monsters or dangerous dungeons. No, fearsome monsters or dangerous dungeons either. It's just a tourist attraction. Polshi Heights, huh? Okay, how do we get there? That's the best part! You ride the most famous train of all. The XX Express! It's a luxurious steam engine excursion. The next crystal stars will be yours! Getting those crystal stars has been backbreaking work, but this time it will be a cinch! Will they let us have on board? I heard you have to be rich or famous to get a seat. Hmm, that may be true. Perhaps you should ask Don Pinata for help with this one, too. Uh-oh. Uh... Last time we saw him, didn't he say he wished he never saw us again? That's, uh... That's, that doesn't sound very good. Alright, so first thing before... We do anything else. Whoops, no, yeah, I thought I missed the door, but this is the trouble center. Here, you can come here and uh No I don't. Oh, I always forget that you actually need to go to the explanation. Wow, my capture card does not like this game right now. I have dropped one one thousand twelve hundred and fifteen frames. This is ridiculous. And I don't know why it's doing that. Would you get out of here? Jeez. Alright, so the thing with the trouble center is you go up, and every chapter you beat, there will be new uh, new things that you do. And once you complete the trouble, they'll give you something. It could be coins or an item or something like that. There are some certain ones that I'm going to do, but right now, there's this one I'm going to do right here. Exclusive badge by who knows who. I'm after an elusive badge. I must explain in person. Meet me on the roof of Zesty's house in Rogueport Square. Yes. Alright, so, we head on over to where that is. And one thing I never mentioned about the Yoshis, which I'm sure if you've seen Sugar Conroy's Let's Play of this, is that, uh, is that depending on how fast you, uh, you get to rank, uh, 11 and get defeated by the Iron Cloths, depends on what color of your Yoshi is, so since I took longer- where am I going? was not paying attention. So depending on how how fast you get there depends on the color of Yoshi that you have. And if you exceed the, uh, the time limit that there is- wow, my capture card does not like this place right now. What is going on? This is ridiculous. Are you freaking done? Jesus Christ, this is pissing me off. 2,000 frames! 2,000 friggin' frames! Alright, so the person that 
we, uh, that the person that had the trouble that we were going to do was Ms. Maus. So, and the reason I'm doing this now is because we actually have to go to Hooktail Castle, which is where we were going to go anyway to help Merlin get whatever it is that he needed. This is going to be desynced like crazy. Oh my god, this is absolutely ridiculous. 2,000 friggin' frames, my god. <sighs> Alright, did I ever... Yeah, there's a star piece there. Oh, man. Wow, that just put me in a bad mood. I always wonder if it has to do... Oh, wait, before I forget... There's this here, and we can go get another Shine Sprite, before I forget. Oh, man. That has put me in a bad mood. There's also another Shine Sprite in that house in the background, except we can't get that until we beat Chapter 6, so... Just wait for that. Alright. Sir. Sir, 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 sir. I swear to god, if it drops any more frames. I feel like it drops frames only when I'm a new when I'm in a new place. I'm not sure why it keeps dropping frames like that though. It's really quite annoying. Wow, blast from the past, eh? All the way back from chapter one. Alright, so we drop down here. Drop down. I'm going through a pipe. Yeah, it's not slowing down at all. But we'll see once we enter. No, it doesn't seem to be slowing down. Alright, so, like I mentioned when we were first here, uh, there's a badge down here, I think. I don't know if I mentioned it. But, wait. No, we could get it before. Why didn't I get it before? I always, I, I always think you have to get it at first, but then I realize that you don't, because you can just use coops. So what I was gonna say before, uh, first time, we, or what I did say before, first time we were here, was that we could just get across here normally, but we needed a certain character, and that certain character is Yosho. And you just have our cross. You can just barely make it, but you can make it. You also have to make sure that you do it on that one one side, or else you're probably not gonna make it. Not again. Not again. <laughs> That's not what. No. I do not have time for this. Stay away. That's the one thing about this game, is that even after you run away, they can still chase after you. Alright, this is where it started to slow down pretty bad last time, if I'm right. Yeah, that's... This is around where it started to slow down, if I'm right. Ooh, boy. Nope. Oh, yeah, jump over the dry bones. Luckily, we don't have to do this crap anymore. So we can just ignore that. Now, the thing that we get from Merlin is over here. Like he said, it's by the black chest that cursed us. So let's go over to the black chest that cursed us. Okay, good. And squeeze through the bars. And take out Bobbery. Because if you remember, I think I mentioned this, but there's a cracked wall uh, on the far wall. And I think I mentioned that we need another character to do that, so... We have him, so let's blow up the wall. Good music. Good music is good. Hit this block here. I'm not sure why they don't just have the chest there. Now that I think about it. But we got an up arrow. Now what could an up arrow mean? We have no idea. So let's go ask Merlin. After we go get the hidden badge from his mouse, because that's what she wants us to do. So we have to go all the way up to Hooktail's chamber and collect a hidden badge. So, take out... I'm actually going to take out Flurry, because you need her in order to get this secret badge. So, should I just meet you up there? I don't know. I don't really have anything to say. Plus, all that slowdown put me in a bad mood. Oh, wait, I need to take out Coops to do this. Boom! No, I'm gonna need Coops out until, uh, until we get to Hookdale's chamber. And over here. Yeah, I think I might just meet you over by, uh, 
in Hucktail's chamber. Okay, so I'll see you guys there. Alright, and here we are at Hooktail's uh, lair. So what you do here is you take out Flurry. And you move into the center until you see an exclamation mark above Mario's head. And then you use Flurry's ability. And there you go. There's the chest. And you get the attack effects B. So, actually, no, never mind. I was gonna say, uh that you might be able to equip that, which you will, eventually, but not right now. So, let us head back. Oh my god, I can't avoid any battles in here, what the hell? Pissing me off. Good god. Wow, that slowdown has put me in a bad mood. Uh, although I'm sure if I, uh, if I didn't have any friggin' 2,000 dropped frames, I would still be in a pretty bad mood, because I couldn't avoid those freaking battles. Alright, so should I just meet you guys back? I don't know. I don't know. The trip back isn't going to take nearly as long. Especially if I take out freaking Yosho. Might speed things up. And move that way. Yeah, there we go. And da -da 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 oh, okay, good. Oh, did not want to go through that again. And jump- Oh man, I can't jump down. And hop on your show. Runaways! And get rid of this. And drop down, because it makes the trip back so much easier. How did I not get this badge? Okay. How did I not get that badge? Oh, it won't let me jump down there. Come on. Oh well. The, the trip back is way, 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 way faster. Than, uh... Than, uh, it really is. Oh man, my neck is itchy. Ugh. Come on, run, 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 and flutter. Yeah, there we go. Alright, since we're almost back, I, once we get back, I'm gonna end the recording. Because I'm hitting 20 minutes here. And even though I do have a couple of minutes of things to edit out, mainly slow down, and my trip to Oakdale's Fortress. So, once we get back to Rogueport surface, I'll end the video. What? No way, I have not been here for an hour. That is crazy. Okay, good. <laughs> Sometimes I haven't made that, because I'm um, just rushing a bit too much. I'm not gonna make it. Okay, good. I'm trying to get through here as fast as I can. Alright, so... Next time, we will give the up arrow to... Merlin. And we will give Ms. Mouse her badge. So... I will see you guys next time. Hopefully without any freaking slowdown.